Welcome back to Same Old Gossip Reheated. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. Subscribe, like, comment, talk to me, and I talk back. <laughs> so if you was here last week, you know I covered the whole Little Nas X and his new video where people were saying that he was mocking Christianity and uh, playing Jesus and playing with religion. And Little Nas X has an apology. He apologized. Let's get into the clip. Hello, everybody. Um, I wanted to not necessarily apologize, but I wanted to explain like where my head at and where it's been for like the last week. So first of all, when I did the artwork, I knew like there would be some upset people or whatnot, uh, simply because, you know, religion is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. But I also didn't mean to like mock. This wasn't like a fuck you to you people. Um, fuck you to the Christians. Like, you know, it wasn't, it was not that. It was literally me saying, oh, I'm back. I'm back like Jesus. Like that was like the whole thing. I'm not the first person to dress up as Jesus. I'm not the first rapper. I'm not the first artist and I won't be the last. Um, and I know like given my history, with you know the call me by a name video anything that i do related to religion can be seen as like mockery that just was not the case with this and i will say though with the communion video with me eating the crackers and juice i uh i thought that video was going to be the video to lighten the mood to take it down like less serious or whatnot i thought that was something that we all wanted to do with kids or whatnot, but I didn't understand the idea of, um, you know, the reality of what it is. You know, it's me eating the communion, which is like the symbolism of like Jesus's blood and, and bones or something like that. I don't remember com completely, but um, I did not mean it to, as like a cannibalism thing or whatever the freak, but I do apologize for that. I will say, I am sorry for that. that that was overboard. Though I'm, I don't agree with all of Christianity's rules or whatnot. I know not everybody follows Christianity by the book 100%, or you know the world would be a lot crazier. Um, but I do apologize for that. Uh, what was I going to say? This is not like to try to get everybody on my good side or whatnot. This is more so to clear my own head about my own decisions. I know. I know like, you know, I, I messed up like really bad this time. Um, and I can act unbothered all I want, but it's, it's definitely like taking a mental toll on me. Uh, what else do I want to say? Um, I know this is not going to be like an immediate, like swift, everybody like moves forward or whatnot, but I do want my Christian fans to know that I am not against you. I was put on this earth to, you know, bring people closer together and promote love. And like, that's, that's who I am. I'm, I'm not like some, I'm not like some evil demon guy trying to destroy everybody's values and stuff like that. That's, that's not me. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, um, and also with the video, there's no disrespect there. I thought me clearly not being on the side of the devil in that video was the, I don't know, was, was like there was an understanding there that I'm not like trying to diss uh, Christianity. Um, what was I going to say? What else? Uh, this is, this is, this is also, this is not like something I wrote down or whatnot. This is something off the top of my head. I'm trying to get out. Uh, lastly, again, I, I hope sooner or later we can move forward and I'm excited for the rest of, uh, this era and things I have planned and Hey baby. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all I have to say for right now. I'm sending you guys love, I'm sending my fans love. I'm sending the people um, who I heard love. Um, yeah. Little Nas X is good, right? 
And the reason I'm saying he's good is because I can't believe people don't see the play. Like, y'all don't see what he's doing. Hey there, trivia lovers. Get ready to embark on a journey through black entertainment culture, sports, and fashion. Can you answer these questions that'll take you back in time? Question one. In the world of music and entertainment, what's the name of Beyonce's first solo tour? It was the unforgettable Dangerously in Love tour. Question two. In the realms of music and fashion, can you recall the song Tupac performed at the Versace fashion show? It was the legendary California Love. Question three. Turning to the sports arena, how many games did the legendary Kobe Bryant play during his NBA career? It was an astounding 1,346 games. Question four. In the world of cinema and family fun, what was the name of the amusement park in the movie Bebe's Kids? If you guessed Fun World, you are correct. Get ready to challenge yourself, family, and friends as you dive into a world of trivia. Visit withoutgoogle.store to get your own trivia game today. It's your passport to a world of knowledge and fun. Okay. He didn't shake the internet up enough to where, you know what I mean? The people in the back crunching the numbers was like, uh, it was good, but it wasn't, it wasn't as big as the last time. Get out there and say something else. <laughs> so he has to come back and say, oh, I apologize. So now people got to go look all over again. And now they have to agree with him. And the reason they have to agree with him, because now they have to think, was I just against it because he's LGBT? Was I against it because I don't understand creativity? Now you there and he has your attention. So <laughs> now everybody's going to come check out the apology. Everybody's going to go look at the video again. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, that's why I said this boy is good. Now, in the last episode or whatever, uh, after I did my episode, Naeem Edwards over there on Naeem Edwards' YouTube channel, uh, she was breaking it down even further. And I didn't even think about it from that aspect of how uh, so many other artists have done this. You know what I mean? And uh, when she started breaking it down like that, the I'm, I'm thinking the reason that I didn't think about it like that is because I wasn't like truly offended. You know what I mean? Like I understand the marketing genius. That's what y'all say. The marketing geniusness of it all. So I was just like, you know, bringing more attention to that. But when she brought attention to the other side of how like you have Marilyn Manson, uh, Pac, even though, you know, Pac died with all that cover and all that, but Pac and just everybody else who has dibbled in uh, the game, making Jesus of blood on his cover and the Jesus piece, she was breaking it down, breaking it down all the way, you know, and that's why I was just like, oh yeah, you know, selective outrage, you know, some people like to be mad at whatever they like to be mad at, they don't have to go um, look for it, they just have to be told something really quick and they could just be like, oh no, that's wrong. But right now that he comes out and make this apology, as you see these comments scrolling, people are talking about how, like, no, you shouldn't have apologized. This is just creativity. And yeah, 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 yeah. Is it creative, y'all, to just keep y'all's attention? And I guess it is because you got to find some way for people to like you. Because other than that, what are, what's going to happen? You're going to fall off. It's going to be a dud. Nobody, somebody... Ugh. I seen another tweet where somebody was talking about like he's it'll he's a big pop star and so many other little black boys want it something like that like oh my god oh lord <laughs> it's like man stop putting people up on pedestals because they can shock you for a day or two like man ain't nothing just majorly creative about him like he's not doing nothing that's just 
outside the box. It's just a little, a tad bit shocking to people who want to act as if they're shocked. Like, you're on this internet all day, every day. I did not see y'all be so outraged about them um, toddlers up in the Galleria Mall with those men, seven men. I don't even see that up and down the timeline. So miss me with all this outrage that y'all be acting like y'all have. You know what I mean? So, uh. But yeah, he's good though. He don't he he doesn't get my attention. I don't listen to the boy. He gets it just enough on them clicks and them whatever you see scrolling on your phone. But I've never played the um Little Nas X song. And I'm not saying like, you know, oh, I'm the best. Pat me on the back. I'm not saying none of that. I'm just saying like I just, like if I don't want to go, I'm not going. I like a lot of new artists, but if I'm not going, I'm not going. I'm not convinced that you just hot shit. Just like I said in my last video, like everybody getting you getting a hit and you getting out of here. Get your hit and get on. <laughs> go get you. <laughs> it's a lot of man. I'm telling you, I think it's. Let's just had a conversation in the comment section. Are there more? One hit wonders now or back in the day. When I say back in the day, like 90s and the early 2000s, do y'all think we have more one hit wonders now or back then? Now, that's all I got. <laughs> Let's, uh, like I said, talk about it in the comment section. You know, I go live every Friday at 7 p.m. EST. Help me get in that algorithm. I'll holla at you later. Five, five, five.